We're New Politics, and uh, we're gonna try to put together some crazy tour stories. We do have one since last time we spoke to you because we've been on the road non-stop. And um, there was a time we played uh, the New Year's gig in, um, oh my god, that, oh, that night overall is just madness <laughs> for everyone. But anyways, one of the ones that were the craziest, and this is something we never tried before, was one of the guys in our crew just disappeared and we had a lobby call at like six in the morning. We we're playing the New Year's show at, at Light in uh, Vegas. In Vegas at the what was the the place called? Light. I think it was Club Light. Oh, at the Bellagio. Bellagio. Yeah, one of those buildings there, and um, or resorts or whatever they're called. But anyways, so we all come down there at six to meet, and one of the guys is missing, and we're just freaking out. We're like, what What's going on, man? No one has slept. You know, it's like, and um, so we try to call his phone. It's off. We go to the the, the receptionist to call his room, calling, calling three times. It's, you know, I know we have a flight to catch. So we're like, we have to make a decision. And we're like, what are we doing? We have to be at this show. You know, it's like a radio show. So some of us take the decision, we're gone. So I, I actually got to add to the story that, that the, <coughs> actually, because we, we didn't know where he was and if he was uh, drunk or not. So well, we knew he was drunk, but <laughs> <laughs> we had we knew he was drunk. Yeah. So when we 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 had security go up there. Well, yeah. Eventually, so we're getting the cab. Cern and the others, we're like we're going. He's gonna find a way to get there. He can take care of himself. You know, we're going. So we take we're we're calling a cab. We're loading everything on. I mean, we have all our instruments and stuff. It's like, and we're running like 20 minutes before, like you know, they're gonna close, you know, the the gate to check in, and we have to check in a lot of stuff. So Cern and someone and Tyler and stuff, they go out to the receptionist and they call like the head of security because now we're also worried because we've been waiting there for over 45 minutes or an hour or something and we can't get a hold of him on the phone. When we call, when we knock on the door, we're up there banging on the door and no the saying. neighbors are getting up like, yo, what's going on? You know, we're starting to like make a scene so that like head of security, you know, eventually they go up there and we have to leave because we can't stay there no more. So we're like, he's on his own from now. So we get in the cab. We just make it, we have like five minutes before we can check it all in. We check it all in, the guy helps us, and uh, you know we tell him what we went through and stuff like that. And then we get we get through TSA and all that, and we're waiting by the gate, and we get a phone call, and he's like, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way, I'm in a cab, oh, is everything checked in? He, he didn't have anything to check in, so it was just a roll on, and he actually ended up making it, but he said, he said, he woke up just butt naked, and there was like security, a door banged down, door with fully loaded like Arm, automatics and like guns and stuff. And it was like the whole security force of the whatever it was, Bellagio or whatever, just like banged in the door and like, they were like, sir, are you in there? Ah, you know, and he just like got up in a shock, like in underwear is like tidy white. He's like, ah, what's going on? Ah, just like totally like someone just put water on his face. And then he was like, everything just hit him right there. And he, you know, and then he was like, oh my God. And he realized everyone was gone. He looked at his phone. We're gone, this and that, on the phone with him, and he just made it on time. So that was actually amazing. That was and amazing. I think those kind of stories actually somehow could come. You know, it kind of makes you closer in some way, way because it is really funny afterwards. And it worked out really well because just because we went those 20 minutes earlier, we managed to pack, you know like check in so that there was still time to like you know board the plane. We even got that. a so, bagel. I managed to get some fried rice, actually. Wow, I don't know what I was doing eating fried rice at six in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> completely shit faced, but that's an entirely maybe it's because I felt good. But that's a an inc uh, that's a completely different story. All right, we'll leave it at that. I don't even remember. <laughs>